friends, Budget Banana. I want to thank you for tuning into my channel. I do have a small grocery haul, and I mean small. It's not very much, but um, I spent almost $150 on it. So I'm going to get this camera turned around, and I'll show you what I picked up. All right, I am going to start with the little bit that I did pick up at Aldi's. And don't mind the fact that the curtain is not on the window because it started snowing here in Illinois today. And um, we're going to put the plastic on the window. <laughs> um, what I picked up at Aldi's, um, picked up two stuffings, and those have really gone up. Those used to be $0.69 cents each. Now they're $0.85 cents a piece. Uh, picked up this 100% whole wheat bread, 35 calories per slice, slice, $2.29 for that. Mr. Randy, now that he is feeling better, he actually got the C and he was sick for about a little over a month. And I really hate him for losing 35 pounds from it. I think I gained his 35 pounds. <laughs> Kidding, I really didn't, but I feel like I did. Got him three of these for $3.39 a piece. Picked up the regular olives for $1.49. And the jalapeno stuffed olives for $2.98. My total at all these was $22.62. Moving on, um, Walmart. And like you can see, there isn't that much here. Picked up these to try, um, these mac and cheese veggies. It's supposed to be macaroni and cheese. The pasta is made with zucchini and lentils for $3.34. Remember I told you about me having the autoimmune disease and they're not exactly sure what kind it is that I have yet. So I'm just going to try and eat as healthy as I possibly can on a tight budget that we have right now. Picked up some mashed cauliflower with bacon, um, cheddar and bacon for us to have for dinner tonight. $5.46. What are you doing? Getting to my pan, aren't you? That's going to come up missing. <laughs> Picked up some apple crisp, uh, honey crisp um, apples here for $6.48. Apples are getting outrageous. Um, try to eat healthy and it's hard to do. Avocados. I love avocados, but I don't always eat them in time before they go bad. So this has always been the best way for me to eat them because they stay in the refrigerator or if you don't get to them all if you know you're not going to be getting to them right away you can freeze these and take them out the next day and or take them out and eat them the next day because it takes overnight for them to thaw that came to five dollars and 63 cents randy saw these big bag of habanero barbecue blue diamond almonds we got them for $5.98. And actually, the tag underneath of it had said $5.98. So the lady walked back there with me. And it was funny because um, she's like, oh, she goes, baby formula. I'm going to pick up two of those. So she grabbed her baby formula. We went to where the all the nuts was. And sure enough, you know, there was a little Mylar sticker that said $5.98. But when they rang up, they came up to $11.68. Well, she was having a nice day. And she says, well, you know, I'll go ahead and let you have them for that price. Since they put them in that spot. And I was like, thank you so much. So if you come across things like that, I've seen where another um, guy who's gone into different stores where he has taken pictures of the actual Mylar and showed it to the cashiers but I didn't remember to do that. So I just walked back there with her. And it was nice that she came across the baby formula on our way there and she was happy to pick it up because she normally doesn't get to it. So it was a win for her and a win for us. I saw this on the very top shelf. Didn't have a spot on the shelves where it went. 
I don't know if anybody's ever tried this brand, Patterson's um, Carolina Cooked Beef in Barbecue Sauce. We only picked up one can. One, because we've never tried it. And two, we didn't know how much it was. Well, that's not cheap. $3.23. So we probably won't buy that again. But if it can make us like a couple of sloppy joes each, we'll try it. Randy wants to make some chili. This was a dollar and forty-eight cents for that. I do have other chili packets, and they're actually put away. And I've told you guys I'm going to show you my pantry. I just haven't got a chance to completely get it all straightened out the way I wanted to to show you and rearrange it. They do still have the macaroni and cheese for forty-three cents, and these ones are going in our rotation. So. We're putting that in the back. All um, Aldi's chicken stuffing and the great value are almost the same price. 88 cents for theirs and it was 85 cents for the Aldi's one. I do like the Aldi's. To be honest, I've never tried the great value, but I've always picked it up at Aldi's. So it'll be Something for us to try. If anybody else has tried it and they've liked it, let me know. I'd appreciate that comment. The chicken breast four pack, still $9.98. This one's going in the back. Remember what I was telling you about this four pack? Um, always check the very bottom can of this whole package because, I'm gonna turn this upside down. They are dented. And this one has two small ones. And this one actually was the better of all the cans that we went through. So you really don't want to get where the, that bottom can is dented really bad because it compromises your product. Unless you're planning on using that can first before you use all the other ones would be the only exception that I would tell you to do. These are good until August of 2025. Remember, I was telling you I'm starting to look out for further years. Macaroni and cheese, could not get that on a, a further year. So 2024 is the furthest out that could go. Crackers, since it is getting colder and we're eating more um, soups and chilies, that was $1.32 for that four pack. Two of these for Mr. Randy, $3.28 each. Did not get them on a sale this time. And that really hurts when you can't get it on the sale. Um, another thing that my doctor said that I could have is some pistachios. This actually was really expensive. $9.98 for that. But I won't be eating a lot at one time. Some caramel dip for Mr. Randy and his little sweet tooth that he's got. Um, I picked up these because I've seen on... YouTube, other um, creators have talked about getting this liquid IV, and they say, you know, if you're sick, it's something good. If you um, pack it in your bug out bag, or if you're camping, you know, some things like that, um, it's good to have because it's equivalent to um, drinking more than actual, you know, water. So you put one of these in your packages of water and it helps to hydrate you. And that's not cheap. $8.98 for six of them. And actually, um, this is, I went another time and picked up some when Randy was sick for him to drink because he wasn't eating. He had no appetite. So at least I was keeping him hydrated by him drinking these. So this is our two that are going to be put away because if that goes up more from that price, that's ridiculous. Like I said, he's getting his appetite back. He wanted me to make this for him. And this uh, pumpkin bread mix was $2.48. Um, for breakfast or even for dinner and some toast. Uh, some cocoa wheats, $4.38. I picked up this brown sugar type of monk fruit sweetener. 
this is pricey too six dollars and 68 cents and this um zero calorie monk fruit sweetener for eleven dollars and 27 cents that one was really pricey um i did see on pinterest a pumpkin cookie recipe something that i can eat on the autoimmune um, disease diet so i'm going to try that recipe for myself and also they say you know they say you can have dark chocolate so i'm going to try and this was pricey too six dollars and 98 cents for this catalina crunch dark chocolate cereal where it's zero sugars 11 grams of protein and nine grams of fiber for that kind of price, I really hope it tastes like a steak. <laughs> Just kidding. But for that price, it better taste good. I will let you guys know how that is. That's it, folks. <laughs> That's everything. That was $143.84 is my total. The prices are going up. And what you're getting is not worth what you're spending your money on. All right, friends, that was our haul. Um, not a whole lot of money that I spent this week. And now that my cameraman is feeling a little bit better, um, I will put out a few more recipe cooking meals. It's funny, I was at um, Aldi's and the girl that normally checks us out, she was like, ooh, she goes, what are you making when she saw the stuffing? And I says, well, I'm not using the stuffing tonight. But what I usually do with it, and I was telling her, you know, about with chicken and a casserole dish and putting the stuffing in the middle and like some cream of chicken soup over it and the French's mushrooms on that. And she's wanting to know how to make it. And she's like, can you make that one of, on one of your um, videos? So I told her I would do that. So I'm going to do that for her here in the near future. And I did want to give another shout out to my wonderful nephew that I did post a video of him in the past playing his... Um, trumpet and some other kind of instrument that I can't remember what it's called that he did his solo with. They had their last competition and him being a senior. Um, it was a love-hate thing. You know, he just couldn't put down his, he wasn't ready to put down his instrument. So I got a really good picture of him and his mom together. And i um, very proud of my nephew, Julian. So, hey, great job, buddy. And got nothing else. Glad to see you guys. I've missed you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. And until the next video, it won't be as far in between as the last one. So take care, and I'll see you. Bye.